The holy grail of getting in shape is losing fat while building muscle at the same time. But after a quick Google, you might be wondering if this is even possible for you, or if you'd be better using a more bodybuilding style, cutting and bulking type approach. In today's video, I'm gonna give you a scientific answer to that question. And we're also gonna look at the two things that people primarily want when they ask whether or not they can build muscle while losing fat. We're gonna look at both the training and the nutrition components of that. And then in final, I'm going to give you a complete picture of what you should do with all this information. By the way, hey, I'm Mateo Mara, coach and personal trainer from Canada who helps busy guys lose fat and build visible muscle using a simplified approach to nutrition and training. Hit the subscribe button if you like this kind of thing. Firstly, let me make it clear that it is beyond a shadow of a doubt possible to build muscle while losing fat. We have literally dozens of scientific studies showing people building muscle while losing fat, like this one on overweight police officers who lost fat and built muscle when they started resistance training, eating more protein and getting into a fat loss diet. But some folks will say that this body recomposition or fat loss while gaining muscle is only possible for people who are overly fat, like these police officers were, or for relative beginners to the gym, people who use steroids, or people who have taken time off from the gym due to vacation or injury. And there is both theoretical and practical truth to that. You are definitely going to be more sensitive to losing fat while building muscle if you fall into any of those camps. But that doesn't explain this paper on NCAA division one football players who are already bench pressing like 300 pounds and squatting around 400 pounds, who still built muscle while losing fat during an off season winter training program. It also doesn't explain this paper on elite gymnasts who were training roughly 30 hours per week and still built muscle while losing fat at already 10% body fat using a ketogenic diet nonetheless. So now we know that building muscle while losing fat is actually possible even outside of those four outlier groups. That's not really the important question. The more important question that you should be asking is what does all this information mean for you? Well, Mr. or Mrs. Viewer, most people who want to build muscle while losing fat typically fall into one of two camps. In camp number one, you primarily want to be leaner and you wanna lose a good amount of body fat, but you don't want to look small and weak when you get down there. Ideally, you'd love to build some muscle and look more defined along the way. And in camp two, you primarily wanna get bigger and more jacked. You're just worried that gaining fat along the way will make you look softer. And you'd ideally just keep getting more and more muscular without gaining hardly any or you know, zero fat at all, ideally. So what should you do? Should you just maintain your body weight and try to build some muscle while losing fat at the same time or main gain as it's called? Probably not. You'll likely just end up a year down the road with slightly more muscle and slightly less fat and it'll be hardly noticeable it's not like there's going to be some significant visual changes where people say holy shit jim what have you been doing bro this is crazy you may be 180 pounds at 15 percent body fat today and a year from now you're 180 pounds at 14% body fat. And people will be like, oh yeah, we can totally tell you had a really productive year of training. Crazy, man, keep up the good work. What I'm saying is the difference won't be visually staggering. That's because you are giving up the two most important and potent tools for both muscle growth and for fat loss. Your most powerful weapon for losing fat, bar none, is a hypo caloric diet or a diet that causes you to lose weight over time. And your most potent tool or weapon for muscle growth is a hypercaloric diet or a diet that causes you to gain weight over time along with training for muscle growth in the gym. See, a hypocaloric diet that causes you to lose weight sends hormonal signals and a cellular environment that literally tells your body to give up its fat stores because it needs energy and a hypercaloric diet provides the requisite nutrients to grow more muscle in, in a steady and significant way. And additionally, it creates that same hormonal environment that really is productive for growing new muscle. But here's the problem. You can't gain weight and lose weight at the same time. So it's tough for us to really take advantage of both those tools, right? And that's the problem. That's why you're watching this video. And the solution is very simple. 
you need to just stop being so short-sighted. I want you to zoom out your time horizons a little bit because it may be difficult for you to lose fat and build a significant amount of muscle in a six to 12 week time frame. But if we give you a one to two year time frame, well, gee, just about anyone now can make a good amount of progress in that time period. You got lots of time to build muscle. You got lots of time to lose a bunch of fat. And I know that's not the sexiest answer you were looking for because you probably wanna be just hella jacked and get a six pack for your upcoming vacation in Mexico. But check this out. Would you rather have an awesome physique with way more muscle and way less fat in a year or two? Or would you rather that I say, yeah, you could totally just kind of spin your wheels for the next three months and end up basically where you're at right now. If you've never taken a serious stab and a professional attempt at transforming your body with diet and training attempts, this is what it takes. It takes time. So now we can see that a phasic diet approach makes sense. And what is a phasic diet approach? It just means that you have distinct periods that you're dedicating your diet to fat loss or hypocaloric weight loss dieting and distinct periods where you're dedicating your diet to hypercaloric weight gain or muscle growth dieting or bulking and cutting phases. So what do you do with this information? Let's just say that you're in that first camp and your primary goal is to lose a good amount of body fat and you'd love to put some muscle on and get leaner along the way without getting small and you actually wanna end up looking to find, which is great. Here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna to aim to lose five to 10% of your total body weight over the next 12 to 16 weeks by using a hypocaloric diet, a weight loss diet. And you're gonna lose a slab of body fat along the way. And I also want you to just totally forget about worrying whether or not you are qualified enough to build muscle while you're losing that fat. You don't have to worry about whether you're beginner enough or whether you're steroided enough or timed off enough or you know fat enough. All you have to worry about is using a hypocaloric diet to lose this weight and lose this fat while training for muscle growth, eating plenty of protein and getting plenty of sleep. And your body, my friend, will take care of the rest, I promise. Best case scenario, you lose five to 10% of your body weight in body fat. You lose something like 10 or 15 pounds of fat while training hard, eating plenty of protein, and you put a few pounds of muscle on along the way over the next, let's say, three months or something like that. Now you've lost about 5% of your body fat percentage. You're leaner, you're more muscular, and the visual changes are fucking crazy. That is amazing, best case scenario. But worst case scenario, what happens? you lose, let's say 5% body fat percentage, and you only maintain the current amount of muscle that you have. You don't lose any, you don't gain any, but guess what? You look leaner, you look more defined because there's less total body fat on you. And since there's less fat covering up your muscles, you actually look more defined. You may even look bigger, especially in pictures. And there's an old saying that the fastest way to look like you gain 10 pounds of muscle is to lose 10 pounds of fat. Now you're leaner and you have the same amount or maybe slightly more muscle and you can aim to do another fat loss diet if you still wanna be leaner and you still wanna lose another chunk of fat. Or maybe you lose this fat, you're down there and you're leaner, you have a little bit more muscle but you really now are focused on putting on some more muscle and all that weight that you lost over a 12 to 16 week period, now you're gonna slowly gain that weight back over the course of the next year while eating plenty of protein, while sleeping, while training hard. And now you're back at the same weight that you started at today, except now you have another 10 to 15 pounds of muscle and roughly the same amount of body fat, which is absolutely bonkers for just about anyone. And everyone in your life is gonna notice that you've made some significant visible progress, which is amazing. And from that point on, you can just rinse and repeat this process until you're as jacked as you wanna be. Okay, but what if you are in the second camp and your primary goal is to get more muscular and get more jacked, and you're worried that gaining some body weight will make you softer, will make you fatter, and you just wanna avoid that. Ideally, you'd rather lose some fat while getting bigger and more jacked. I totally hear you. Let's jump into this. If you are not ready to get any softer as a sacrifice or a trade-off to gain as much muscle as you can, it would pay for you to follow the advice that I just gave and just get a little bit leaner first. Do a little fat loss diet and earn yourself some runway so that you can get a little bit softer in order to get as jacked as possible. 
You don't wanna end up a couple weeks into a muscle growth or muscle gain diet, hypercaloric diet, and have to interrupt it and pull the plug because you're like, eh, I'm just a little bit fatter than I wanna be. I think it's time that I should cut. And you're only three or four weeks in, like you're just spinning your wheels there and it really takes time for muscle to grow. So we need runway first. Once you've got plenty of runway and you're ready to grow a bunch of muscle, there are two things that you can do to really mitigate how much fat you gain during your muscle gain diet. And the first one is to keep your gain rates conservative. If we go from a conservative weight gain rate to a moderate weight gain rate, we're going to gain more muscle. Yes, definitely. But we're also gonna gain more fat along the period of that muscle gain diet. If we go from a moderate weight gain rate to an aggressive weight gain rate, yes, we're gonna gain a little bit more muscle, but primarily all that weight is gonna be made up of fat, a greater percentage of it than when we went from a modest or a conservative weight gain rate to a moderate one. What you can do is keep your weight gain rates low, something like a quarter of a percent of your total body weight per week. Yes, this is gonna mitigate the muscle growth potential of your muscle gain diet, and you may not gain as much muscle as possible, but it's worth it if you're concerned with keeping your fat gain as little as possible. Secondly, you can use a mini cut, which is basically a miniature fat loss diet that is interspersed within your muscle growth diet to clean up any fat gain that has happened or you've accrued along the way. So this looks like you running something like a 12 to 20 week muscle gain diet, and then taking a little bit of a six week aggressive fat loss phase, boom, right in the middle, and cleaning up any fat gain or a lot of fat gain that has occurred before jumping into a muscle gain diet again. So maybe over 12 to 20 weeks, you gain seven or eight pounds, maybe even 10 pounds. And then you take a little bit of a six week aggressive fat loss phase, you lose six, seven, eight pounds of fat, you clean up a lot of the fat gains that have happened, and then you just throw another muscle gain diet right on there again. Maybe you do another fat loss diet right at the end, and same thing. You've gained now whatever, 10, 15 pounds of fat, and cleaned up seven or eight of them, and you're left with mostly just the muscle that you gained. Same deal, you just keep repeating muscle gain diets and fat loss phases until you're as jacked as you want, and really, your take home message is this. Stop worrying about whether or not you can build muscle while losing fat. Choose a primary goal of either fat loss or muscle growth and commit to it by using either a hypocaloric or a hypercaloric diet. Then use a phasic dieting approach to gain muscle after you've lost the fat or to clean up any fat gain that you've incurred during your muscle growth diet. And in any of these cases, be sure to train for muscle growth, eat an adequate amount of protein to support muscle growth or preservation, and get plenty of sleep to create that environment that supports muscle growth and retention. Your body will take care of the rest. If you have any questions about this stuff, just leave it in the comments section below. And if you wanna learn more about training for muscle growth, I have a video coming out on that shortly. So be sure to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Again, my name is Mateo. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it helped you. Thanks again. I'll see you in the next one.